Small business owners, what are the minimum structure skills you need in order to be successful? That's what we're going to talk about today in episode 586 of your 333. Solopreneurs, small business owners, it, happy National Punctuation Day. This is the day when all of our written material, whether we're doing it on social media, writing a brochure, or updating our website, we got to make sure that we're using the right punctuation. Good tip, have someone else proofread your work. So many times I make mistakes that other people see really glaringly. So National Punctuation Day, let's proofread our stuff. In other tech news, YouTube is now bringing AI to creators. They're going to start with those that are established, but by next year, we'll be able to add artificial intelligence and backgrounds on our shorts as well as other things. AI is, is penetrating every aspect of our business, whether it be content creating. I'm using AI now in Photoshop, and it sounds like it's going to come to our creators. It's going to be called Dream Screen. Now back to our topic at large. We've been talking all week about the basic skills you need to be a successful small business owner. Today we're going to talk about structure skills, strategic plans, taxes, legal knowledge. Business tip number one, you need to have some sort of strategic plan. You can't just wing your business in order to be successful. You need to have a structure in place and a plan of how you're going to operate your business and you should have a plan to take you from point A to point B so that you could be successful a year from now, so that you can reach a whole nother level. Business tip number two, you need to have some basic ideas of taxation. What do you need to keep as far as receipts? Do you need to charge sales tax on this for your product or service? If you're hiring employees, are they gonna be 1099 or are they gonna be W-2? I highly recommend that you have a tax accountant, but in addition to that, you, the business owner, need to have some basic understanding of how taxes work for your particular business. And speaking of taxes, business tip number three, you need to have some basic legal knowledge of what type of legal things you may run across in your particular small business. Do you need to have legal contracts reviewed? Is there certain things that you can do legally and not legally or certain products you can sell? In my business as a web designer, maybe certain images have to be bought for clients to have a legal certification to use those images. What are the legal requirements in your particular small business? In review, we've talked about structure, planning, taxation, and legal knowledge. That's what I'm learning today. Anything I learn, I throw with the fence to you because I want you guys to be successful. Now go back to sleep.